of you have been asking, how do I get the six string banjo to sound really good, sound like a lot of uh, other banjos? Well, I'm going to show you that. I'm also going to show you how to quiet down a banjo and how to make it electric, okay? You can do it real cheap for a few bucks and make it sound like a much better banjo. Follow along. Here we go. Okay, now don't let the uh, green screen bother you. I'm working with a little uh, fun thing. You've got four screws that go around that hold the back bell on. Take those off. Those four screws take the bell off, okay? This is what you've got. Now, if you want your banjo a little quieter and a little smoother, which is what I do, I take foam, okay? That foam is about uh, four inches thick, and I make it to fit right in there. If it pushes against the bell and pushes against the front, it quiets down the banjo. We have just a little uh, slot right in there, but it quiets down the banjo, makes the tone sound much smoother. Okay, much smoother. Now, some of you spotted something in there. Let me show you this right here. That's how you make your banjo electric. All you do, you run a little uh, a quarter inch phone jack there, a $2 window sensor, piezo uh, sensor, stick it right behind the tailpiece right there, and it's ready to go. But again, now we're gonna stick this in here. Notice how the, it comes above. See how it's above? You want that. If it's flat with that, it won't push against the back bell, the back housing, okay? So now when we put this back on like that, there's just a little bit of pressure from the back onto the head of the banjo. Very simple. Now we're gonna zip it back together. Okay, what the banjo manufacturers don't tell you when you're doing your six string is your, your six string banjo is never going to sound like a real banjo because it's got guitar strings on it. A quick way to do this, I like custom gauge strings. Quick way to do this is get Nashville high strung strings. Nashville high strung strings. The highest string is actually uh, what would be the normal sound of uh, size of like a wound G on your guitar, okay? Because a banjo doesn't have those low boom 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 notes. So if you have them on there, your banjo, your six string is never going to sound like a real banjo. Put a set of high strings on them. Now what I do is I flip flop these two strings right here from the normal setup, okay? In other words, this and this string are supposed to be reversed on a normal set. The reason that is, is because your high string, your drone string on a real banjo is a real high string. It's a small string. So this way, if I want to play a, uh, just here real simple. Now it actually sounds like a real banjo. Even if I go to the top, it sounds like a real banjo. Now the volume is about 50% of what it was because we put the foam in there, okay? 50%. That's pretty good. That'll keep you married, okay? Think about it. call 50 banjos at the bottom of the ocean a good start but I'm not <laughs> downing on banjos I've got one right here uh, the green on there what's that for we're just gonna have a little fun in the Photoshop with the green on there now let's listen and see what the banjo sounds like after we've done the changes change the string I'm not even gonna plug it in you don't even know you know what they sound like plugged in listen to this 